Welcome to the third quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, along with my sidekick here, Andrew. Good morning. Let's That's three quarters. Get, let's in. get into a few more pictures taken right. over at the Athletic Association uh, meeting held in Baton Rouge, Crown Plaza. And uh, on the uh, left is none other than Paul Boudreaux. And if you watch we the LSU football games, uh, you'll see him on the field. On the he's, he's, you, he's not a coach. Uh, sometimes I think he thinks he's the coach. He's an but equipment he, vendor. But he's an equipment vendor, and he does real, real good with LSU. He actually sells Saban and his group mm -hmm. by Alabama. Uh, high schools, colleges by. And the young, his young son, Jamie, on the right in this photo, is really coming on strong. Working in the family Paul business. Paul is really bragging on him and how please the is because you never know what you what your kids will do you know what what they're gonna really if they're interested if they're interested. interested and he just fell into it and of course in the middle is my partner mm -hmm. Joe got your senior athletic trainer because he used to go massage the football team in Port Barrett before every <laughs> Friday night's game <laughs> yeah and, he, and now he does it for the grandkids that's right that's right boy he, he and uh, Yvonne they really spend a lot of time with and the grandkids Bork, and Borks uh, was catering was that Shannon yeah, yep Shannon. They, they catering and the I third think generation. the young man man's name is Keith, I think, but don't hold me to it. Uh, that's correct, and the food was delicious. There's the hard sheriff add. from St. Lander Parish, St. Lander Parish, Parish. Jay Gitro. and uh, one of our deputy sheriffs, uh, Gary LeJack. LeJack, and then Coach Mac Mistrick from the Port Barry Red Devils. That's right. And uh, that's Cynthia again, and this young lady uh, is uh, Miss what? Uh, Veronica Dunn, mm -hmm. and she sells school insurance uh, accident insurance throughout the state of Louisiana. And uh, then there's Miss Verna Duplichan. Mm -hmm. uh, That's Coach Bill Duplichan's wife. Bill Duplichan's wife. wife. I, she walked up to me and introduced her. I said, we support Bobby Restaurant, but we know each other, but we've never officially been uh, introduced. introduced. And then uh, who's, who's the, the coach, next, the to coach next to him, coach I have Rodriguez. it right up here, Coach Rodriguez, and he's from down south Louisiana, way down yonder. And uh, here we are cutting some of that red velvet cake for your birthday over at the office. Yep, with sure. With Miss Belinda Thibodeau. That's from right. Eunice. And there you are in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans at Superior Seafood uh, Friday night for my blowing out the candle. All they could find was one big candle, and I had a hard time blowing it out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it was delicious, and uh, Megan took the picture. Megan was there also. And this young lady here, look at the beads she caught. She some beads caught. Mardi Gras, the huh? sweetest little girl. You don't have to worry about her succeeding. She's already a success. <laughs> and I've I'll drop the name. Uh, I must have left it at the house, look, but they're going to be watching. Good morning quick, to all of you all. How quick they clean those streets after each of those parades. You, can you see how dirty Man, it is right oh yeah. there? And within minutes after the parade ends, mm -hmm. it, they already clean it all. Next morning, you don't see. Saturday afternoon, we were coming back, and we, I was wanting an LSU belt, and they're not easy to find. Mm -hmm in the sizes and what I was looking for, and I wanted a nice, good one. Mm -hmm. uh, I had one that lasted a, a long time, but it, it was worn out. And we ended up at the, co no, no, at the mall, this Louisiana the mall. mall. Right. There was not, none there mm -hmm. in the mall itself, but we did meet a gentleman right here, and I just stopped him and started talking to him. The next thing you know, we're almost cousin, and uh, his name, that's Mr. Earl Babin on the right with the LSU shirt on, mm -hmm. and uh, turns out when I said Uncle Lucy, he said, well, you might know my friend from Ville Platte. I said, well, I know a lot of people. Jimmy LaFleur, he cool. says he's a building contractor. I, well. I said, sure, his son, Warren, Warren works for the company. Dupre he said, you kidding me? Oh, yeah. I said, he works for Dupre Carrier, got y'all. He said, well, I, then he says, in fact, he says, uh, Mr. Jimmy came over and did some work at my house, remodeling, and gave us some hint, you know, some right. tips on how to do it, and, and did some of it also. So, I made a good friend just stop and I call it breaking the ice don't be afraid to break the ice the only thing they can do is refuse to talk back 
And uh, is, we were riding motorcycles uh, Sunday afternoon. We rolled up through Eunice and Mamu, went to the, to the Mamu uh, Hilton and uh, getting it all cleaned up and everything and stopped by our new order. Office is beautiful. OPAC Finance uh, in yep, Eunice. Uh, Go by. They got fresh, clean money. OPAC in Eunice, Opelousas, Crowley, Ville Platte, Ville Platte, Mamu, Lake Charles. Lake Charles. We got uh, the sister company, Sunrise Fast Cash, with locations in Opelousas, Crowley, and Scott. Scott. You bet. How do you like that? Money to lend. Money. Money Fresh. and it's ready. Springtime money. Just Spring come off time, the tree. That's correct. For whatever your good deed is. Oh. Remember last week I was standing next to one just like this one. Uh -huh. It hadn't been dressed out yet. And, uh, well, I, the rest of the story is I bought, and this is the machine. Go ahead. And I brought it home, what, Polaris. Tuesday mm -hmm. afternoon. Yep, Tuesday. We, we got to go race them now. Yeah, Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Yesterday, right. <laughs> And Monday night, we had a bi-state fishing rodeo over at Cops and Kids, mm -hmm. and a I- A supper, I guess y'all didn't fish there, or did y'all? No, 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 <laughs> just, just, a, just a supper. And David Mesh cooked it. He's not a member of the fishing rodeo, but he volunteered to cook, and he did a great job. I better not brag too much, because everybody wanted to go cook. But that's the fireplace from the old homestead? From, an, that was from the old, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Sure is. Uh, I, I've seen all kinds Look of the, pictures. The There's a, a, a completely down. different sunset. Yep. And, uh, and, and I'm bringing it. Bringing the Polaris well, No, I'm home. loading it. I, I, I bought a trailer with uh, Acadiana oh, yeah. uh, Trailer and Tire Service. A bug uh, den. Honor a good one. Pete and Miss mm -hmm. Marie. And, uh, and you got the toolbox and to got put the toolbox. Oh, you got it just right. Oh, I, I'm telling you, I was just trying to see how it all worked, how it fit on there. And it's not too long, so you can make it fits around. It's just track. right. And I want to thank Charles Cummins, brought oh. me to Eunice to pick it up in his, with his trailer. Tell me something. Can you hitch that trailer back to the four wheeler? Have you thought about that? Oh, you, it'll, it'll, it'll hit you. Oh. So you better use it as a work trailer once you're there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. When, whenever I'm going to get out to the uh, camp out there uh -huh. and they want to call something around. You can do it. I can do it. That's a man. Huh? Cool. Let's be a man. Wednesday morning, just prior to taping of the program that you're watching right now, right. Wayne Doucet, our neighbor who owns... Uh, Toby's uh, catering, and, and, and he has a lounge, sure. which opens uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, clean. He's really done a beautiful job. And, of course, he also has a reception center on the rest of the facility with a complete kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's another good, good place and big, large parking area. Parking is always a problem at a lot of these facilities. Right. This one doesn't have a problem because you can stack them up in there. Open during the week and live entertainment Fridays and Saturdays. You bet. And he has a band this weekend. There you go. And then I went to the Walk of Life Saturday, saw Dr. Pratha over there who asked about you, says he watches us on the show. Good morning, Dr. Good. Pratha. And also, Monsignor Derwin asked about you, of course. Oh, you know. Good morning, Monsignor. And he hadn't John, hit me up for any money lately. Uh, he, he must be doing okay without if my he, help. If he heard that, he'll, he'll call Well, he you. knows I'm helping Washington right That's now. That's right. And we got John Miller that was there as well, who organized that oh, big walk for good. life. It was a huge crew. You can see we had probably three, 400 people that showed up. Our escort was the chief of police himself, Chief uh, Perry Gallo. I want to thank him. You know, it'd be easy for him just to call and send a, 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 a patrolman to go take care of things. But he went out there himself and got in the middle of it and of course our own Freddie Herpin with Daily World was out there taking pictures good morning Freddie and Miss Jan Corville was there that does the uh, the toys uh, with with the oh Catholic Janice good morning uh, the young boy's name with Shannon Borg is Keith it's and I've key. got a little story to tell come back to us we now, have a, we have a few minutes uh, before oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, got we have time. a few minutes okay Go good uh, while I was waiting for my ride to to, to ride with uh, the sheriff over to Baton Rouge uh, to this function in, uh, with the Athletic Association meeting. Uh, I, I was sitting on the parking lot of the uh, bank, American Bank and Dupre Carrier Gotcha Agency, and I was facing Borg's Grocery. And I saw these two young fellows, one in particular, came out and started helping this couple, uh, kind of elderly couple, uh, dressed up in a suit and tie. She was very well dressed, and he had a right front tie that had a, a flat tire. Mm -hmm. And this young man, and I checked him out, I found out he's Matt Vidrine. Matt was took the tire off, put the spare on, just professionally. I just watched it, and before I got a chance to go and get the, a picture of this, to 
to show on here, but I, I'm trying to go through some motions that shows this young fellow was working hard to get this done. Turns out that he is Raymond Reed's grandson from Port Barry. Okay. And, uh, and so when I was telling Lester and Shannon about this story, they said it doesn't surprise me. He is a tremendous young worker. So, you know, you want to let these young people get that recognition, too, mm -hmm. that, uh, that are doing some good things in the community, kind of like the pie that was brought to me, cooked. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she had her hand in cooking it, sure. and I'm talking of Elise Ray, my godchild. There you go. How about this? You know, I talk about going to the retreat every year. The retreat's coming up again. It's going to be February 28th through March the 3rd. We go to Our Lady of the Oaks in Grand Coteau State. I'm going? Are you going? You in? I'm in. You okay. In. Uh, I got a room reserved for you. What the 40, upstairs? 45th year. Upstairs, you got to share a bath with eight guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's uh, no more of that. You don't have to worry about sharing a bath. You got your own room. It's nice, convenient, well fed, and they feed you spirit the whole time you're there. You go from a Thursday night till Sunday at noon. It's a silent retreat. You'll love it. Give me a call at 351-0732, and we will get you there. And let me stick another One quick Go thing. Ahead. Bravo. Bravo is the name of a successful restaurant in the Mall of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were walking around, and Vicki and I, and, and I said something about eating, and she said, yeah, it's a good idea. I, I really need something. Uh, right now, she says, and ran across Rex Edwards, and he mm -hmm. seemed to know what he was doing in the mall area. He had been there before, right. and uh, I said, Rex, where would a good place, and he pointed, he said, bravo, right over there. He said, you're almost in the front go. door, and we ate there, and Rex, thanks a lot. It was a good recommendation, and if you ever at the mall of Louisiana, the ladies love to go, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very, very well decorated place uh, and and very comfortable and then one other thing about the Baton Rouge yeah. to try to find that belt we right. were told and I think it was Mr. Babin that told me that he says go, go to the, the co-op co I said wait a while a co-op usually when I think of a co-op I'm looking at a feed store right he said well this is you feed your mind at that place co-op bookstore you rent and or, or return mm -hmm. used books or new books and it's been in business since 1933. Not, not I, had heard of, I had heard of a place near the walk-on. Exactly. I, I had heard it, but uh, and and I'm sure David Link. Anybody told buys me, LSU gear, they've probably and, been in and there. And I had asked him where he had got his nice mm -hmm. LSU belt, and I think that's what he had said, but it didn't click at me on the time. But anyhow, you if you want something with oh, a shirt sure. like this. Anything you want with LSU, if they don't have it, it haven't made it yet, <laughs> I can assure you. And I don't own anything in this business over there. It's just that it's kind of hard sometimes to <coughs> find these uh, products locally. Steamboat Warehouse. Get mom away from the smell of her own cooking. Go to Washington, Louisiana to the historic Steamboat Warehouse. See chef owner Jason Hugay and try the great crawfish etouffee, the shrimp Betsy, the stuffed filet of catfish, the crawfish pound meadow, the great Angus beef steaks that they have there as well and enjoy an adult libation over the beautiful waterway there. And of course they just finished doing their big uh, fundraiser um, over in Opelousas, the gumbo cook-off over at Frank's. They, they In conjunction with Frank's. More that, than 50 teams turned not oh, yeah. for the gumbo benefit a good good picture to help of the local, lo, lo, local comedian Murray Comp from mm -hmm. Karen Crow Louisiana Mr. Lewis's little boy uh, was uh, he was also the, he served as an auctioneer also yep. go yeah he, he one, is an auctioneer they I, have I one, forgot about one that. of the biggest events they've ever had for Miss Maya Nor she's 14 years old with cancer if you still want to make a donation probably you can drop it off at the steamboat warehouse or at Frank's they'll probably get it on to her our, we're down to 10 seconds left, so we're oh, going to take a one-minute break. We're going to we'll talk, talk about, about Slimco on the next uh, program. When we come back. When we come back. Okay.